Nurseries are becoming an important part of the new family home. And let's say you're thinking about creating a room for your newborn. Where do you start? What are the do's and don'ts you need to think about? We thought we'd watch and learn from an expert. For the last couple of months, beautifulhomes.com has been collaborating with Mumbai-based interior designer Sara Sham on a very important project, a nursery for her firstborn. Hi, I'm Sara. I'm an interior designer. I have a company called Isaji's Atelier. I currently live in a home with my husband Mustafa, my dog Steffi, my cat Dali and my maid Lily. I wasn't really very sure of the idea of doing a nursery because frankly I have never done one ever before and I really wasn't sure whether it's even required for such a small child but growing up I always shared a room with my sister and I never had a space which was completely my own um and I just feel like it would be so special to be able to give my daughter her own space right from day 1 so when putting together the nursery ideas uh the first thought that i had is i wanted a space that was both bright but also cozy um so given those two feelings i then started looking for references through pinterest and various internet images The Beautiful Homes website has some amazing amazing options out there for some spaces that make you feel exactly that. So I used all those resources, put together all my favorite references where I felt like it gave me that feeling when I looked at those spaces. Today I'm going to be measuring out the room. Uh I will take those measurements. I will put them onto AutoCAD. along with the approximate furniture measurements of the things that I know I need and then I will extrude all of those measurements onto a 3D software I use which is called Google SketchUp so that I can see exactly what the room is going to be looking like with a couple of layout options it also helps if you're able to draft those onto some kind of plan and then identify what types of furniture items are going to be in the space so for me the large ones were a baby chest of drawers and changing table a rocking chair for feeding a crib and a nice sofa cum bed for in case anyone decides to stay the night so i used those large items and placed them in multiple orientations in the room but this is a basic orientation of what the room is going to be this is the sofa cum bed in front of this here is going to be the big rug in the middle and here in this corner is going to be the nursing chair and here is going to be the changing station okay. so what do you think I mean, layout wise is fine. Layout wise is fine, right? Mm. After you have your layout handy, uh, you then create a mood board simply to set the tone. Um, and a mood board is not necessarily exactly the items of furniture that you're going to be taking for the space, but it more defines the mood or the feeling that uh, you are supposed to feel when you enter that space. So you could also have images of furniture. You could have images from a fashion runway. You could have images of an ice cream cone. It doesn't really matter, even if it's for an interior space. With the mood board, you then marry the mood board and the layout, and you know, eventually, that's how you start arriving at your space. Okay, we just switched on the news, and the lockdown, which was supposed to be till April fourteenth, is now continuing on for another two weeks. Uh, this is obviously going to mess up timelines completely, because I'm just getting into my final trimester right now. So I'm really just wondering. By this point, I thought that we would have started the nursery, and we were really, really excited to meet everyone, see all the samples, uh, understand the textures, and everything that's happening for the space. and just when we were about to get started with this entire process the most unexpected thing happened hopefully you know all of this resolves before the baby comes so i guess let's see how this all works out Hi everyone this is the section where I'm answering some of the most commonly asked questions about nurseries um if you had any doubts your question is going to probably be answered here There's two ways of doing this uh, you can either go through Pinterest mood boards or you can just approach different guys that are making furniture for babies rooms pick what you like and make sure that everything matches and is harmonious 
It's really easy. You actually just identify all of the pieces of furniture that you want to put in the room and then using a measure tape and masking tape, you can just mark it out exactly in the room to make sure that everything fits. There are a lot of places that you can find amazing budget nursery furniture. I think my favorite has to be IKEA. They have the most amazing budget friendly furniture. And I think what you also have to remember is for the first six months of their lives, uh, kids don't even need a crib. A bassinet is okay. So you can go through, you know, first cry and uh, just pick up some basic items that you may need if you don't want to do the full smash. <laughs>